there's so much actually going on this weekend. In fact, the streets of Maple Grove, mm -hmm. they're going to become kind of works of art this weekend. You mean No Stove Maple Grove? That place. Chalk mm -hmm. Fest is set to get underway tomorrow, <laughs> but a few of the artists are getting an early start on their installations. Let's check in with Shane Wells. Good morning. You last checked in with us at the end of the six o'clock hour, and now most of these designs are really coming together. So if you saw it then, now you go, oh, that's what we're doing. Okay, so I love this one. Sharon here, our flexible dancer chalk artist, she <laughs> did. Tell us about your boba butterfly. Um, I was kind of inspired by the fact that I was looking for boba yesterday, and I was having a hard time finding what I wanted. And so I'm like, oh, I, I need to get boba. So this morning, he's like, okay, we're going to chalk. I was like, I like butterflies. They're nice and easy. They're really fast. And I thought, I'm going to do a boba butterfly. Boba butterfly. <laughs> I did not know I needed a boba butterfly in my life, but I love it. Beautiful. Okay, we're really seeing this eye come to life now. Um, are you interested in becoming a makeup artist? Because I like your work. You know, everybody comes to the fair looking at my portraits, and they go, oh, nice makeup. I said, you want chalk on your face? I'll do it any day. <laughs> No, Joel, we do not want chalk on our face. Uh, Joel came in from San Francisco. Sharon, who we just heard from, is Santa Barbara. Gabrielle is from Mexico, and she did a gummy bear, so she has a sweet tooth just like me. Uh, we have Leanna here, Leanna's owl. This is quite anim. I love the colors and the blending of this. And are you using a pool noodle? Yes, these are amazing for spreading chalk around. Um, but this was kind of inspired by Lisa Frank now that I'm working on it. <laughs> Oh, you're speaking to my heart, my 90s child heart yes. there. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, I love thank it. Thank you. Okay, and then Sean here. We're seeing this kind of girl come to life as well. This morning. I'm going to get out of the shadows of this Siraj and come to this other side here. We were just chatting a second ago. You set up here because you thought, Sean McCann, who co-founder of this event, by the way, thought it was going to be in the shade the whole time. You said sunlight is actually a real <laughs> challenge with doing these installations. Yeah, especially this early morning sunlight. Um, it changes completely from what, what it looks like in the shade versus what it is in the sun. But you know what? I'm starting to like it as the sun goes up and uh, just keep working on her and uh, keep bringing her to life. Uh, she's beautiful. You have done artwork where there have been potholes to go through. Every street you show up to chalk, you never know what you're going to get. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting. You can be anything from brick to asphalt to concrete to there's been so many different surfaces and stuff so it's it's the unique aspect of creating this art uh, temporarily and uh, and but that's what makes it fun it's something that it's more about the act of creating it and enjoying the process of it and then just letting mother nature take it so oh see that's the part that'd be so hard for me sean thank you i appreciate it this temporary art so beautiful and then it's, it's washed away and on to the next one if you guys want to learn more you can head to chalkfestmaplegrove.com the event is tomorrow and sunday 10 to 5 food trucks music obviously 54 huge chalk installations to check out as well. Back to you guys.